14 coverage now tonight. Democrat Mary Burke is fighting against claims she was fired by her family's company. These are complete lies, fabrications. Burke says the lies are coming from Governor Scott Walker's campaign. 12 News political reporter Kent Wayne Scott is in Sheboygan. Kent, you spoke with both candidates this afternoon. Yeah, I caught up with Governor Walker on his campaign bus tour here at this Sheboygan manufacturing plant a short time ago, and before that with Mary Burke just down the lake shore in Port Washington. And Burke is blasting Walker today, accusing him and his supporters of being behind what she says is an attempt to smear her just days before the election, something the governor strongly denies. The story in question surfaced on Wednesday. Former executives of Trek Bicycle alleging that Burke was fired by her own family's company in the early 90s. Now, Burke denied that charge while touring a manufacturing company in Port Washington on Thursday afternoon and immediately went on the attack against the two former Trek workers who made those claims and then accused Governor Scott Walker of having supporters do what she called his dirty work. These are complete lies, fabrications. And, you know, they, Tom had an axe to grind. Gary Ellerman has an axe to grind with Trek. And it just shows, you know, Scott Walker is not going to stop at anything. He is a career politician who will do anything to win an election, including lies, smears, dragging a great Wisconsin company through the mud. Meanwhile, here in Sheboygan on his campaign bus tour, the governor fired back. We don't think about it. It's up to them to to justify what their comments are. But uh, from our standpoint, we've spent uh, every day since last Saturday talking about uh, the Wisconsin comeback and the contrast between Washington-based special interests and the Wisconsin taxpayers. And they can say whatever they want, but we're not going to take our focus off of what I think voters want to hear, and that's what people are for, not what they're against. Both Burke and Walker downplayed the impact that Trek story might have on voters between now and Election Day. But one thing they both agree will have a big impact is voter turnout. And Burke got some high profile help with that today. The governor, on the other hand, was quick to put his spin on it. We'll have that story coming up tonight at 6. Now, live in Sheboygan, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. I see you at 6. Kent, WISN 12 News will bring you complete election coverage between now and election night. Head to our special political section to learn more about the races and the candidates on WISN.com and on our 12 News mobile app.